St. Petersburg. Why? Because I'm 23 today. Okay, I don't know why you're so serious. Okay, what's up? My hair is, it's cute, but it's frizzy too. I don't know. We're in St. Pete for my sister Ovid's birthday. Um, just for today and tomorrow. This is the first time that I travel outside of my house. I was dragged here. Um, I will admit I'm a little bit anxious um, to be out and about doing stuff. But here I am. Yeah, of course, taking safety precautions at the most extreme standard with masks, washing my hands as much as possible and or hand sanitizer and minding my own business. I'm so scared, but it'll all be okay. I'm really up close and personal for this segment, but just wanted to explain that. Okay, so we just checked in to the hotel and we're gonna get ready for dinner and I'm starving, so let's go. to a place called ceviche and we had tapas they're spanish tapas lots of tapas yeah this is a restroom door <laughs> and you can <laughs> see through it's not a lot of privacy no i have a video for you to put in your oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> what is it well show me your video Mom calls me and I, I'm like, Mom, why are you calling me? And she doesn't answer. I'm just like, whatever. So then I get a text message and I read and I bust out laughing. You know why she called me? <laughs> <laughs> How does she get stuck? <laughs> they locked. When? But right when? now when you were taking a shower. But she didn't take a cue with her. I'm winning, you guys. <laughs> For now. <laughs> You're so lucky. Look. Stop it. <laughs> I won. I just woke up, storing my retainers. Everybody is at the pool. <laughs> nah, man. That is not the move. Okay. This is the worst angle in history, but I'm gonna do my makeup super fast. We just had breakfast. I'm wearing my outfit from yesterday because don't ask. So I rolled out of bed, went to go eat breakfast with my mom, and then when everybody else went to the pool. And now I'm doing my makeup, and we had to check out in an hour, and 
Well, let's just get started. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I love this. It's it's all gone. And take my beauty blender. Just... I look so rough today. My under eyes are sagging at the sag awards. For mascara, I'm using this Yuya, the S S eight this. I don't know how many S eight this, and then this Yuya Rimen. These are my favorite <laughs> mascaras ever. And then top it off with this one. I'm right here. Freaking me out. The girl in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you guys couldn't see me? No. <laughs> you just see your hair in the back, like swaying back. <laughs> what the heck What's the point of wearing makeup if you're just gonna wear a mask? <laughs> these under eyes. <laughs> Look at these under eyes. <laughs> You guys, I'm filming a video. Keep it down. This is my outfit.
Dolly's permanent collection, which is really cool. We're here now. It is so hot. Did you see a squirrel? No. It's so hot. So, you know, I, I just live by things turn out the best for people who make the best of the way things turn out. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Things turn out the best for when people, people who for people who make the best are the, the way things turn out. Yeah. I like <laughs> it. You get mad, you get stressed, or you just be like, ah, you know what? It's like a problem. Like yeah. That's like a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you probably get the best of everything, you know? It's like a problem. It is. It is. We just had lunch at this pub. Totally forgot to film. Oh well. Okay, so we just had lunch, even though it's four o'clock. We had a, a heavy late breakfast. Well, it wasn't late, but it was a heavy breakfast. So we had a late lunch, um, and now we're gonna do a little bit more exploring before we head back home. more of a square to me. Mall is a bit of an exaggeration. I need to fix this. Ugh. Okay, so now we are at St. Petersburg Pier, which is apparently new to the city. It's very beautiful. I like it a lot. I'm saying that now because we just got here. I haven't really walked much. Hopefully it's not too long because I'm exhausted already. Well, not really. I'm just hot. It's really humid. I didn't realize how messy it, this was. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so it is so hot and humid and we're about to get in the car sit in this stickiness that i am especially after just got snow cone <laughs> liquid all over me um but i have this this is from the brand uni they sell it at target and ulta um and it's like a little shower sheet um so you can just wipe yourself down a bit never tried it before so 
always carried in my bag. That's why it's all beat up. So let's see if it works. Oh, and I also have this little Neutrogena makeup wipe remover. I don't use wipes anymore, but times like these, I need to wipe everything off. It's bad, guys, it's bad. The mask is covering it up, but it's time to go. Okay, we're leaving the pier. Update on the wipe, by the way. Definitely helped. Still a little bit sticky, can you see? Still a little sticky, but it definitely did help a bit. Um, so now we're gonna jump in the car. Ugh. And I can finally wipe my makeup off. Hi, Uber. Hello, how you doing? Is it Nick? Yes, it's Nick. Okay. The Is it Slick Nick? Slick Nick. Okay. Family? Hi, family? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> just be careful you don't spill any of that water in the car. <laughs> Got a $200 cleaning fee, okay? <laughs> I am home just like that the last clip you might have seen was me jumping into the car um I didn't realize you were just gonna be leaving right that moment but that's what happened so I wanted to end this vlog just by sharing what I picked up at the Dolly Museum which by the way the Dolly Museum incredible if you do live in Florida stop by um it was definitely an experience going during COVID but it was still really, really cool. Um, Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali. Um, anyways, I got this cute little handbag by Estela Bartlett. And it this is a painting of Salvador Dali called Caracas. Um, he painted in 1923, which was before his like whole surrealist. Uh, movement and that's why it's more like tranquil and stuff like that <laughs> um but yeah really really cool right now I have a little masterpiece part of my outfit and they gave me some bookmarks since I made that purchase um and it triggered me right now because listen we can say what we want to say about Christopher Columbus but at the end of the day, he needs some respect and how we say his name. So backstory, I grew up in America with an American education. And it wasn't until this day that it finally clicked inside of my head um, that his name is not Christopher Columbus. His name is Cristobal Colon. And I had heard, you know, my relatives say this, you know, whenever he came up in conversation which is a few times um and I was like oh okay cool like that's his name in Spanish but it wasn't until now that I realized like wait a minute like why have I gone my whole life going through the Am American education system going to a university and his name always being said as Christopher Columbus that's not his name like his name is Cristobal Colon so anyways this is part of a huge masterpiece of Salvador Dali, of Christopher Cristobal Colon um, arriving to America or discovering America. And, you know, we can say what we want to say about that. But from this day forward, I will not be saying his name in the American whitewashed way that I was taught. Instead, I will be saying his name by what his name actually is. So... I just wanted to share that and my little revelation, I know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for joining me in this mini TED Talk. Um, and I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video.